So, something else you can do with the Fibonacci add-on. I've created this UV sphere with 16 segments, 8 rings, and now I select it and press Create Fibo. And I press Reset to D4. And then I select Use Curves for Size, Use Curves for Height. And now I can use these curve objects to change the structure. And um, I want to use more objects, so now I have object count 30 and I change it to 300 and press update and now I have 300 objects. And now I select the size curve, it's control size, and go to edit mode and I move the knots on the x axis and I can change the size of the objects. So make them bigger and for example can create this column like object or if I want to I can give it a sphere like shape using the height curve which also controls the width of the object And if I, for example, um, if I want to make the objects uh, bigger in this section, I can do that with the size curve and control the size of the objects just in that, in that part of the structure. And now if I like this object created, uh, something else I can do is I can rotate the individual objects using the rotation settings. So I change the Y slope so they are pointing outwards. Okay. And now for example I can sc scroll close and select one of the objects and go to edit mode. Select the vertices and change change the shape and it will adjust all the objects because they are now duplicates and I get this nice interesting object with spikes and um, I'm able to rotate the spikes with the rotation settings so rotate them down or upwards and um, if I want to have a natural object I can add some randomization settings to make it look more, more natural S like so okay so this is something else you can try with with the add-on uh, create these kinds of structure and there's also the fee factor setting and you can create different shapes different uh, usually spiral or star shapes so for example this interesting object okay um, that's it for your inspiration thanks